All right, so um, I'm setting up a my table here with a, I've got a piece of a thick piece of glass, um, and I've just put in these sort of like stops using some plywood on my on my bench so that this so that the glass can't really slide around on me, and I'm going to be using a 400 grit uh, sandpaper along with some. Um, just some spray adhesive uh, and the idea is to so the glass will create a flat surface and I'll be putting down a, you know spraying using the spray adhesive to put down a couple pieces here which then I can slide the the head back and forth on on a very uh, level surface so I'm gonna spray the glass with this spray adhesive. Probably let it get a little tacky. Okay, now that the sandpaper's down, I'm going to just use a little bit of uh, WD-40 to wet the paper so that we're essentially doing a wet sand here. This is my head. So this is the sort of the before. Then we take the head, get it on the paper, and try not to put any downward pressure. Just try and slide it along. And Taking the first pass here real slow, trying not to rip up the seam of the paper between the two pieces. If that seam hangs up or rips, then I'm not going to be able to use both pieces. So I'm just trying to kind of gently get this process started and hopefully not rip up that paper, that seam there. Feels pretty good, so now I'm able to kind of speed up a little bit. And again, try not to put any downward pressure. Use the weight of the head itself just to, um, the weight of the head itself will do the actual sanding. Now I've seen some people say you can do a figure eight. I really don't have the real estate and the glass on this glass to do that. And there would be a lot more seams to contend with with a figure eight. I can't seem to find any, you know, sandpaper sheets. These are like standard, I don't know what they are, eight and a half by 11. They look like the standard size of a, of a piece of paper, like printer paper. And I'm not, finding um, sanding sheets that are larger than this without a seam. But I can see already that there's definitely, um, that this is working, that, that I'm removing what I need to remove. And there we go, and just caught the seam, just caught here. So now I can't glide this on here anymore. Let's take a look at least at what how far we've gotten. And that looks pretty good. I can still see the fire ring a little bit right here. I cannot feel that with my fingernails, so that's a good thing. So I can, I guess I can, uh, Unfortunately, since this this peeled up here, I can't go, I can't go across both these surfaces anymore. But I could I can do a little bit here. This still works. And I still can stay within one sheet. So that's like looks like about here. I can do this. 
nicer to be able to go the full length. Unfortunately, I'm not going to be able to do that. Still being very careful not to press down and to just let the weight of the head do its thing. Take a look at that. Okay. I'm pretty happy with this and I think that's probably where I'm going to stop. I don't want to take off too much. I could keep going just to try and, you know, get rid of this sort of fire ring here, but I think it's it's literally just discoloration of the metal and not actually, you know, I can't feel that. And um, I've noticed some of the spots over here where there was uh, gasket material left. All that stuff is gone now. So I feel like this thing is pretty, pretty much ready to go.